숱한 날들 모두 내게 남아있는 추억들 now I will try to find and correct errors and again I'm correcting errors based on my understanding of the students. Now I will start. 제 지난 생일이 대학교였어요. 제 지난 생일이 as it is good but if I were the students I'm going to change this one to 은 so that by using this topic marker uh, to make it clear that the student is going to talk about the student's past birthday. 대학교였어요. It seems that the student's uh, birthday falls on the days while he is on campus studying during the regular semesters. So, uh, how to make it simple? <laughs> I'm going to try to make it simple. 제 지난 생일은 어, 제가 학교에 because uh, he is a college student, so no need to make say, uh, don't, no, no need to say 대학교에. 제가 학교에 있을 때였어요. It was when I was on campus or when I was uh, studying during the regular semester. 수업하고 숙제 있었는데 저는 못 쉬었어요. I couldn't take a rest too. Uh, it seems that because of the classes and then homework, right? Then... This is the direct reason for this one. So if I were the students, rather than using background information suffix, I'm going to use 있어서. 수업하고 숙제 있어서 저는 못 쉬었어. Because this is a direct reason for the not having rested on the student's birthday. Uh, because I had classes and homework, so I couldn't take a rest. 부모님이 시애틀에 있는데 부모님한테 전화했어요. 자, it's good, but 부모님, the students used the 부모님, so I'm gonna use uh, 부모님이 시애틀에 계시는데 in terms of the uh, uh, speech, uh, speech style or speech level. Uh, to consistent with 부모님이. So 부모님이 실질에 계시는데 부모님한테 전화했어요. 스펠링 에러. 전화 후에 스펠링 에러. 저녁을 먹고 싶어서 저하고 친구 같이 어, 피자집에 갔어요. Because I wanted to eat dinner after the call. I went to pizza house. So it seems that 저하고 친구, I and my friend, my friend and I are the subject in the sentence, right? So to, to make it the function of these items role uh, as a subject, I'm going to add subject marker here. 저하고 친구가 or 친구는 같이 갔어요. Here 같이, uh, not modifies 친구, but 같이. 피자 집에 갔어요. Modifies the verb 갔어요. 저는 비싼 피자를 먹었어요. I ate an expensive pizza. 그런데 피자를 싫어해요. But I don't like pizza. 저녁 후에 방에 갔어요. Uh, here 저녁 is not uh, afternoon or late night. It means dinner. So after dinner, I went to my room. 저는 자고 싶어지만, just a simple spelling error, right? Past suffix, because it is about the past. 자고 싶었지만, 어, 자고 싶었지만, 친구들이 방에, uh, my friends were, this is past tense, right? So past suffix, 방에 있었어요. My friends were in my room. Oh, what happened? Let's see. <웃음> Over here, okay. 친구들이 방에 있었어요. Oh, 자, here, 파티였어. 파티가 였어요. I think that the students wanted to say that uh, his friends prepared a party, right, for him, kind of surprise party. So I'm gonna say 파티였어요 or 파티가 있었어요. 
있었죠. 친구들이 방에 있었어요. Uh, that was a party, 파티였어요. Or, uh, uh, without space, 파티였어요. That was a party. Or, 파티가 있었어요. There was a party. 친구한테서 맛있는 케이크를 받았어요. I received the delicious cake from my friend. 파티가 끝났고 친구들이 자고 싶어 했어요. Um, it sounds... 파티가 끝났고 as it is okay. However, if we see this phrase, uh, this clause based on the whole sentence, it shows it uh, signals the sequence of the actions. After this action, his friends wanted to do something. So in this case, 뭐뭐 하고 나서, uh, 뭐뭐 하고 나서, after doing some action, verb, verb stem plus 뭐뭐 하고 나서, after doing this action. So, 끝, or is a shortened version, verb stem plus 고. So, 끝났고 sounds much better. 파티가 끝나고, or 파티가 끝나고 나서, or 파티 후에, or 파티 후에 친구들이 자고 싶어 했어요. My friends wanted to sleep in my room. 저하고 룸메이트 같이 청소했고 잤어요. 자, roommate, again, it sounds like uh, the subject of the sentence of the verb is two people. I and my roommate, my roommate and I. So to make sure that this element, this element is a subject, add subject marker. 친구가 or 친, uh, uh, roommate가 or roommate는 같이 청소했고 잤어요. Uh, I'm going to make it simple. Again, 청소했고 잤어요. It, as it is okay, however, it's clear that uh, indicate the sequence of action. So 청소하고 sounds much better. 청소하고 나서 잤어요 or 청소하고 잤어요. 내일 아침에 수업이 왔어요. 자, 내일 아침에 내일 아침 means tomorrow's morning, tomorrow morning, right? However, this is still related to the past event, the past birthday. So, uh, it must be the next morning, the next morning. So, 그 다음 날, this is much better. 아침에, 그 다음 날 아침에. 내일 아침에 means tomorrow morning. However, based on the context, the next morning, that's why 그 다음 날 아침에 수업이 왔어요. 어, 수업에 가다죠. 수업에 가다, 수업에 오다. 그래서 수업에 왔어요. If the students is talking about the same class in the same class uh, now, then uh, 왔어요. Okay. However, usually uh, this is like uh, 수업에 갔어요. The students is uh, recollecting the moment from in a different location. So this is much better than to a class on the next two morning. Clear? Okay, thank you so much. 감사합니다.